Hello everyone, I'm Sign One News anchor Vanessa Paloma Bajarnik. Here are the top trending international news stories in ISL. If you post an interesting comment about this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. At the Women's World Football Cup, South Africa ranked 54th going into the tournament, beat Italy with a 3-2 victory on Wednesday, pushing them through to the final 16. And if being knocked out of the World Cup tournament wasn't enough, fans of Italian football were saddened by more news. Forty-five-year-old Italian goalkeeper and soccer legend Gianluigi Buffon announced that he will be hanging up his gloves after a spectacular 28-year career. Buffon leaves the pitch with a World Cup victory, 10 Serie A titles, and one league title under his belt. He played his last two seasons at boyhood club Parma 5 in Serie B. Buffon posted a video saying that, that's all folks, you gave me everything, I gave you everything, we did it together. Officials at China Zoo are trying to reassure visitors that their sun bears are not people dressed in costumes. Rumors and conspiracy theories have been swirling on social media after video of a sun bear standing on its hind legs went viral. The video being shared online shows the bear looking uncannily human and appears to wave at the crowd. The fur appears loose and wrinkled in places, almost like an ill-fitting bear suit. The zoo released a statement written from the perspective of the bear saying, I am Angela, the sun bear. I got a call after work yesterday from the head of the zoo asking if I was being lazy and found a human to take my place. Let me reiterate again to everyone that I am a sun bear. According to a report from a Russian children's rights group, over 700,000 Ukrainian children have been brought to Russia since the start of the war. The report claims that most of the children allegedly arrived with their parents and other relatives. But the report also says several thousand children arrived without parental care and have been placed with Russian foster families. In March, the International Criminal Court in The Hague issued international arrest warrants for Russian President Vladimir Putin and other top officials, allegedly for their responsibility for the war crime of unlawful deportation and transfer of children during the Russian invasion of Ukraine. In Kenya, registrations for digital identification and cryptocurrency company WorldCoin has been suspended.
Thousands of people showed up to get their eyes scanned in exchange for cash. But Kenya's foreign minister says the company is using Kenyans as guinea pigs to collect data. Some people say they don't even understand the technology. But they showed up to get the $61 reward for signing up. WorldCoin says its mission is to provide a digital identity to separate humans from online robots. Local media says about 350,000 Kenyans showed up. But officials with WorldCoin did not give a number to CNN. Canada's leader, Justin Trudeau, is about to become a bachelor again. He announced Wednesday on Instagram that he and his wife, Sophia, are separating. His official bio states the two married in 2005. The couple has three children together. He is one of Canada's most famous politicians. She is a former model and TV host. Trudeau says they had many meaningful conversations before making the decision to separate. Officials say Sophie has already moved out of their home. Former U.S. superstar quarterback Tom Brady is trading in his American football for a soccer football, not to play, but to own. The seven-time Super Bowl champion is now a minority owner of England's Birmingham City Football Club. Brady announced the news on Twitter, admitting he has a lot to learn about the sport. In July, U.S.-based investment service Kitehead Capital Management bought a majority stake in Birmingham City FC. According to the club, Brady will become a chairman of the new advisory board and work directly with club leadership. He is set to advise on health, nutrition, wellness, and recovery systems. Brady retired from the National Football League in 2023 after 23 seasons. On October 10, 2013, a Danish man named Thor Pedersen left his job, his girlfriend, and his family to embark on an epic journey. His goal? To visit every country in the world without flying. On May 24, 2023, nearly 10 years after he left, he accomplished his goal, visiting 203 countries. His final stop was the Maldives. But did he fly back home? No. He hopped on a container ship and sailed 
for 33 days until he returned home on July 26th. When he landed, there were about 150 people waiting and cheering for him. From start to finish, Pedersen traveled for 3,576 days on ships, trains, buses, taxis, boats, and rickshaws. He crossed 223,000 miles. That's the equivalent of nine journeys around the Earth. Now he's working on a documentary and book about his journey. Wow. Sign One News will be broadcasting international news updates every Sunday. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters who help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. And you can also watch on Apple TV, Amazon, and Roku.